of the whole meeting, whether it's pillars or non pillars. This is because if it contains bias, the color of the whole meeting becomes greenish. So I will consider there is obstruction below the level of ampulla of water. Ampulla of water is a place where the bile uh, will be uh, secreted into the GI system. So if it is obstructed within the intestine, then the vomiting will become bilious or greenish. If it is non bilious, then the vomiting source is from the stomach. So knowing the color is very important. Even the presence of blood or not only the vomit is also important. The other thing is whether it's projectile or non projectile. This is because projectile vomitings are usually associated with CNS pathology, the presence of different masses within the brain will cause compression of the brain stem, so that will cause vomiting of ingested matter. So if it's projectile, then the pathology is completely annihilated with the GI system. The other thing that we need to know is the episodes of vomiting. How many episodes of vomiting the patient is encountering? Because this is to anticipate the complications because patient was single episodes of vomiting and patient was 10 episodes of vomiting patient having those 10 episodes of vomiting is at risk of electrolyte disturbance electrolyte disturbance is associated with a, a number of uh, uh, problems in different body systems for that reason we have to know the number of episodes of vomiting so we can anticipate the complications on that patient even we can decide whether to do serum electrolytes in this patient okay now let's see uh, the characterization of uh, vomiting patient presented with a chief complaint of vomiting of uh, three days duration and under the history of present illness we can elaborate the vomiting as follow mr mahmoud presented with Bilas non projectile non blood injured vomiting of ingested matter of six up to seven times per day of three days duration. So, under this, we mentioned about its color, which is, which is bilas. So, the source of the vomitus is most likely from obstruction, which occurs below the level of the opening of the ampulla of water. And says non projectile, so most likely this vomiting might not be associated with CNS pathology, especially mass within the brain. And it's non blood tinged, and it also mentions that the uh, episode is uh, six up to seven times. So, this patient might have electrolyte disturbance. So, at least we have to check the serum electrolyte, and the total duration of the vomiting is three days. So, after explaining about the vomiting, we have to list all the associated symptoms. Associated with the vomiting, he has epigastric burning sensation, loss of appetite, nausea, abdominal distension, crampy abdominal pain of the same duration and he didn't pass feces or flatters for the past 24 hours. This is the way how we characterize vomiting. 